Alright, what's up party people and welcome back to another Halo Infinite video. My goodness, that feels good to say. But today we are checking out the Halo Infinite multiplayer overview. Yesterday we got the multiplayer reveal, which was like a little two minute thing, as well as I think there was like a three and a half minute campaign thing. That video is on my channel, it was yesterday, you can go check it out. Uh, but today we get a 12 minute video, this is the multiplayer overview, I have not seen this yet except for i will say uh, i'm a couple hours late to this i know my fault so i've seen a couple screenshots on twitter and a couple little video snippets and stuff so i have seen part of this video but i have not seen the actual video so with that being said we're going to check it out i'm gonna give you my thoughts my initial reactions uh and, and hopefully it's more good stuff i was very impressed with everything we saw yesterday uh and so hopefully we continue the positive trend let's get it that's a little bit loud bump that shit down just a little bit Oh, look at that Halo ring. Yeah, I like that little animation. Oh, that Oh, dude, this game looks so clean, like man. Being in a firefight and hearing the, the click of the gun, throwing it down, grabbing one off the wall. My gunner's dude. upside down, and he's like laying in. I see kill assist, kill assist, kill assist. Any pistol. Look at it, bro. I don't even want to say anything when, like, the gameplay's on. Allows me to feel the most like John Wick. I am there. Yeah, I feel that. I remember how excited I was with, like, this big... Combat. Hopefully the Magnum's good too. Hopefully it's not like a Halo 3 situation. Halo something different for everyone, right? I think that that's what makes Halo great. Badass. Let's go. I just love the way the Spartans look, bro. I mean, I, I know a lot of people, I, I've been seeing a lot of people on Twitter uh, comparing it to Reach and saying it looks too similar what to that. Halo but I think that's and much me, closer to Halo. To I like that. Tight arena style combat. Just my opinion. And big team battle, this wide open vehicle and Shout out Joe Staten. Uh, kind of combat. We're taking that awesome legacy or classic Halo combat experience and modernizing it in ways that'll feel fresh to old players and really exciting to new players. We're going to give you great ways to customize your Spartan, really make your super soldier your own. Yes. And we're kicking off a journey, an experience that's going to evolve month to month season to season, year after year. Love to hear that. For me, working through this multiplayer Love to hear this that. game, and the toughest challenge I think was really hey. about how do we respect the legacy of what came before us, but still build something that feels new. We've tried to bring all these elements of legacy and really inject them into Halo Infinite, not just like in a, in a, in a way where you kind of won't notice it, where you feel like, oh, they really designed this to be a celebration of previous Halo as well as an iteration of where Halo can exactly. go. Exactly. Exactly. Couldn't have said it better. I like that. Oh, look at it, bro! The vision of Arena was all about a tight experience. It was all about being fair. It was all about earning everything on the map, earning everything, every kill you get. Going back to like, what is the core foundation of what made the great Halo skin on that AR? Arena matches was great. Halo, it's really about fair and balanced. Dude, I just, I don't even know what to so say like looking at the gameplay. Just look at it, bro. And then once they start running around, it's about scavenging. It's about finding new toys and, yes. and kind of developing your play style as you run through the match. What makes Halo feel like Halo? Um, I feel like uh, the answer to that question is, is the sandbox. Like, the sandbox is Halo. When we set out to look at Halo Infinite from a high level and the direction of what it is, there's lots of exciting things there because we really wanted to push what are the things that are true to Halo, but what are the things that fans haven't seen? Badass. Yet? Equipment Badass. is badass. But equipment is kind of, has, the, has, a, has a bigger voice than ever before. We ask questions okay. to ourselves of, uh, if you could go after you know a power weapon to get a bunch of kills, uh, would you do that or could you go and get grapple to make sure that you swing yourself to the other side of a map to back cap a stronghold? We saw that as like another avenue of not just skill expression, but tactics for teams to coordinate around. Yep. The exciting combinatory nature of, you know, this toy plus this toy and how those interact with objectives is super amazing. Looking oh, at how, whoa, how what was that? Play, what was like that shit? Classic pops, like the overshield and the active camouflage. For this title, what we're looking at, what we're excited for is you pick that up and you choose when you activate it. It goes into ah. your inventory. If you haven't used it and someone kills you in multiplayer, you drop that overshield and then they could take it, use it for themselves. That to me is very legacy, but we took the equipment side of it and modernized it. Ah. When it comes to I mean, that's interesting. I don't know how I feel about that though. Invest a lot in the, the systems when I take I wonder if that'll be a thing hog, in competitive. Uh, my, my wheels can get blown off. My hood could get blown off. There's different aspects oh, he's, he's missing of a wheel. the vehicle that change how my vehicle handles now. 
and that's something that's brand new. The other okay. thing we added that's to that cool. is like this doomsday mechanic. So when you hit this threshold, the vehicle catches fire, and it's very much you've got a certain amount of health or a certain amount of time, and you got to choose what you want to do with the last minutes of this vehicle. We've got a cousin to the Warthog, which right. is the Razorback. The back has this like multi-storage compartment that you can put a lot of stuff into. So if you want to put like detached turrets, power weapons, fusion coils, objectives, and that what? is what's really making uh, the Razorback kick a lot of butt what? in the campaign. The levels define pace for the game. You can push it in the trunk of the Warhog. They define that iconic fantasy for players as they're entering that match. What are they? Oh, is that do? a chopper? Um, what type of experience are they hoping to have? What kind of combat? What kind I was of not expecting to see a chopper in this. Have that combat in. Dude, a lot of gravity hammer footage. For me, I can't lie though. That gravity hammer looks about mean. Experiencing uh, the full extent of the sandbox of Halo in just one match, right? Like you see the vehicles, the weapons, the equipment. We really wanted to take that kind of concept, those feels you had, you know, playing the play, playing the previous games, and just turn the volume up. That pistol, Vehicles that pistol no does look mean. I, I forget what it's called. We have but Pelicans the new Magnum. delivering them, and we have a commander in your ear telling you that pelicans are going to be dropping off these vehicles. Scorpion tank is inbound. We have That's pretty badass. Halo 2 style Delta Halo mission weapon pods that fall from the sky to resupply. Oh, the that's tight. That's where it makes it feel like like a real battlefield and and it's very exciting. This is not just more players. This is That's just mixing a that's mixing the campaign stuff in there a little bit. I like chaos. that. I like that a lot. Player yeah, expression. This is, is what we want to see. Gameplay moments, your customization, game just like the way it was before. Personal AI is really a reflection and information for the player. Personal AI, designation button. So if the oh. player grabs a flag, your personal AI is going to tell you to, you know, get that thing back to base and give you some like moment-to-moment -moment updates. Our team took the enemy flag. What if we can let players choose their own AI, and each one of those are different voices, oh. so that players can find the one that fits their personality and their mood the That's best. That's badass. They, they add to the sense of like me, as a, as a Spartan, being more important. And, and for us in multiplayer, it is really about becoming a Spartan. Your Spartan. You are you inside of the Halo universe. The body of Jimmy Jarvis, bro. that we have on day one ensures that there will be millions of whoa, customization whoa. combinations for Spartans on the battlefield. Yes, that, includes that is like so much shit. Armor coatings, uh, armor emblems, various armor effects, down to the individual armor pieces. So your shoulders, your gloves, your knee pads, your helmet, your visor. Love that. Attachments. Very you reach. Look at weapons, and we've got a whole slew of customization offerings there. Vehicles have a have a huge pool of customizations too. We support customization in the game. Players can do the same thing on the Halo Waypoint. Oh, dude, I love as this. As well as the Halo Waypoint. Dude, app. customizing like my character is like my favorite shit ever, dude. The suit. To have this Spartan level of customization in a Halo game is going to be fucking possible. incredible, they can man. Their body type and their voice, as well as choose prosthetics for the first time. Coatings offer us Dude. a unique opportunity to craft some hyper-polished looks and let you express yourselves in ways you've never been able to before. So we're coming at this from a player-first mentality. So what that means is that there's no random loot in this. There's no loot boxes. It's very oh, that BR reticle looks different. Everyone understands exactly how they. I'm the one we saw yesterday. And we I know a lot of people were bent about that one on Twitter. First off is the battle pass. The Halo Battle Pass will never be taken away from you. And what I mean by that is once you buy it, it's yours and does not expire. In future seasons, oh, well, that's pretty cool. you can purchase old Battle Passes as well as the current Battle Pass and choose which Battle Pass to put your progression towards. All of these that's rewards cool. are single source, so you're like never going to be confused about where things come from. If you can unlock... You had to figure that Halo was going to adopt the whole uh, Battle Pass thing. I mean, they already did with MCC, uh, but you had to figure that was going to make its way into this game. I don't mind it. Uh, I think it's pretty cool, and, and I, I like it more. Something in the Battle Pass, more than, we're not going to let any... Like, microtransactions and spending $5 on every little tiny thing. Other players circumvent that Just my take. purchasing it out of the storefront. A lot of our stuff I like is this. This BR looks good, man. And only through playing the game. All customization so does the is snipe. just cosmetic. Every season will have its own theme uh, and introduce new components, new looks, new gameplay for players, new opportunities to earn and collect cool rewards. We've seen the the samurai. Dude, that armor that's one of kicks our ass. Armor cores, and that's going to be something that players can earn. So badass looking for free.
for free. Love to hear it. Here we go. Free to play. Like player part of the game. Like that was a big goal because you know how do we have a way we can always bring players in, right? And they can when we have a new update, there's there's they'll just dip their toes in if they even just want to see it. Not only are we free to play, but we're free to play on PC as well as console. And what that means is that's that's so big. I don't think a lot of people understand how big that is, but that is huge, bro. That opens the door to so many more, like exponentially more people to play Halo, which is it's nothing but good things for us, bro. We're able to get the biggest audience Love to hear we've that. ever had. Exactly. Everybody gets to play with no barriers. And even better, your progression carries from one platform to the next. Getting our game to be on PC and console at the same time is an amazing chance for us to really just kind of excite new players about the game. How can we do <laughs> things like make cross-play interesting and like even in just customs, being able to just play with your friends. That like some people have PCs and some people have consoles and like let them talk to each other, let them be friends. Hell yeah. Why are you here? To be a Spartan. The Academy is a place that you can go uh, with an MP to kind of onboard into the experience. It's great for newer players who are still picking up the controls and also people who want to warm up before they head into matchmaking. It's a series of experiences, both a tutorial to get started for the first mm. time, weapon drills to practice with specific items, and also training mode that you can use to just get warm, explore the game as you want to. For players who are new to that Halo, is, that's great. it's helped them learn what this universe is about. Some of these characters, what what are they about? And help them kind of know the vocabulary that people have been I was, speaking. I was, I was reading some of, uh, I was reading some about the Academy thing in the blog post yesterday, but that's just, that's such a great uh, addition because I feel like Halo is definitely a little bit more complicated of a game. Uh, it, maybe not more complicated, but it's definitely a little bit harder to pick up than say Call of Duty. Um, and that's no shade on Call of Duty. I love Call of Duty. Um, but Halo's, Halo's definitely has a little bit of a learning curve, and so adding that, I think, is, uh, is, is definitely a really good thing, especially because in Halo 5, if you think about what all the new players were playing, like, Halo 5, you would jump into quick play, and that was, like, your experience, but, like, also, hella competitive people played quick play, so, essentially, like, a, a baptism by fire, which probably turned a lot of people off to the game. Um, but anyway... I just think that's really cool. For now, almost 20 years, so that we, when they come in there, they don't feel like they're behind everyone else. They can kind of come in on an even footing. Yeah, that's, that's really good. I'm super jazzed about bots. I think they're awesome. Bots in bots Halo, let's go! Have a variety of difficulties that kind of provide a good training partner for wherever you're at in the experience. I've been shooting bots in COD for years, man. Bro, it's a thing in COD to shoot bots for like hours. To launch and after launch. Hey, what up, John? Absolutely critical, right? I mean, Halo's always been about the community conversation. We want to make sure we hear our players, make changes where we can based on that feedback, make sure the game is ready for launch, and then even beyond launch. What I'm That's my man Unishek. I want a grassroots world championship with that man. And putting it into the community's hands. You know, whether it's seeing what people make in Forge or the content that they're able to create with theater, watching streamers go after the game. To get involved, you go to haloinsider.com, put in your info with your gamer tag, and we should be able to reach out to you if we mm -hmm. want to invite you to a Halo Infinite flight. Sign we up. Like we've got a pretty good selection at launch, and what's going to be there? Sign for up for the fans. insider thing if and you haven't this already. This is going to be something that's just out. a static set of items. We have some new stuff in the works already, and just dude, I can't, can't wait, wait to, to throw really fusion coils at as somebody, soon dude. As this game comes out. New maps, new modes, new ways to customize your Spartan. Launch is just the beginning. Now we're just going to be able to talk, interact more frequently, and that's just going to be great. That is the future of Halo Infinite multiplayer. Thank you to the community for all their feedback over the years so far, and uh, I'm looking forward to the road to Thank launch, you, John. launch itself, and beyond. Thank you. Dude, I just... Uh... I don't even know what to say just looking at it, bro, but like, oh my god, I want to play this game! Ah! Bro. Oh, so good, man. Holiday 2021, so no release date yet, no release date yet, but holiday 2021, alright. Look, I just want to take another look at this little gameplay here up at the front before we, uh, before we get out of here. Uh... I know I wasn't commenting on the gameplay stuff a whole lot, uh, it, mostly because I just wanted to watch the video, uh, but I, I just didn't know what to say, bro. Just like looking at this gameplay, like it looks so clean. Like I just want to play this game.
being in a firefight and hearing the, the click of the Especially gun, that, it that down, BR reticle off, looks different than the one in the trailer like yesterday, like which makes me wonder if you can either change your reticle or if maybe there will be different ones. Like I, I'm, I'm super curious about just everything. Like I, I want to know everything about this game. Uh, so yeah, I think I'm gonna go ahead and call it. Uh, I think I'm gonna go ahead and call it there. Um, I think we saw everything that we needed to see. Uh, but yeah, if you guys dug this, I know this is more of a reactionary thing. Uh, but if, but I, I might be uh, willing to do like a like a, maybe like a breakdown uh, type thing, which I've never done before. So if you guys are interested in that, let me know. But either way, let me know how y'all are feeling about this game in the comments, man. Uh, because I know I was real positive today, and I don't want that to seem like fake positive. I feel like a lot of people are getting accused of being fake positive recently. Uh, but that's not the case. Everything I saw today uh, looked really cool, and, and I'm really excited to see more and to also get my hands on this shit. Hopefully as soon as possible. This game looks badass, um, and, and I love it, and, and I'm super excited. All right. That's going to do it. I love you guys. Thank you guys for watching. Much love, much respect, as always. And I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace out, brothers.